to Top Speed. My name is Christy and today in our garage we have the 2009 Jaguar XKR Convertible. The XK is a cat-like car that has been produced by the British car maker Jaguar since 1996. The first generation was introduced in the Geneva Motor Show on March 5th of 1996 as a replacement for the XJS. Currently in its second generation, the XK was unveiled as an all-new 2006 car at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September of 2005. But it wasn't until 2006 that the convertible trim was introduced. Our XKR is powered by a powerful 4.2 liter V8 engine, which produces 420 horsepower. That is almost 120 more horsepower than the 3.5 liter V8 engine that you will find on the standard XK. Surprisingly, it has a fuel economy of 15 city and 25 highway. Not bad. The starting price for the Jaguar XKR is 93400 our test vehicle has a price of 103960 because it has the adaptive cruise control, 20-inch Sento wheels, aluminum trim package, and Bowers and Wilkins premium sound system. So now we have more background on the 2009 Jaguar XKR. Let's go outside with Miles and check it out. All right, thanks, Christy. We're here with our Jaguar XKR. And, well, this is usually the time when I'm going to go over the little bits and tell you all about what makes this Jaguar so superb. But right now, I just want you to take a look at the whole car and drink the whole thing in because it's a beautiful design. And while you're doing that, I'll just tell a little story. It's a very simple story, and that is that Jaguar has never made an ugly Cooper convertible. Back in the 1970s, when Jaguar was in its absolute darkest day, it was owned by British Leyland. British Leyland had no money whatsoever, but they were still designing the XJS. Now, the problem was that the engineers were debating, should the XJS be front engine or should it be mid engine? And what ended up happening is the production car was front engine, but it still had rear flying buttresses that were from the, from the mid-engine design. And British Leyland just didn't have the money to undo all the other engineering for everything else. That car was a hodgepodge of design, but nobody still ever accuses that car of being ugly. But what we have here right now is the second generation of the new XKs. Now XK is an important line for Jaguar because the XKs originally were the first coupes and convertibles they ever made. It was actually their hallmark design. It was the design that they used to tell them how to design their sedans. Well, the first generation of these new XKs really wasn't even a Jaguar. It really wasn't even an XK. It was an Aston Martin. Aston Martin was developing their new DB7. They put together a whole car and they took a look at it and they said, you know what, this doesn't quite work. Well, Jaguar came by and said, do you mind if we borrow the design? And quite frankly, because both Austin Martin and Jaguar were owned by Ford, it was very easy. Jaguar just added a few touches from the old D-Type, and they made their new XK. The problem is, though, the XK is supposed to look towards the future, and that one took from the past. Our XK here, though, the second generation, is a true new XK. What this one is doing here is it's actually if you can see now, it's what the XF eventually ended up being. It's the future of Jaguar styling. Everything on this car is perfect. It's a nice clean design, minimal chrome, very sleek, everything looks like a sports car. And because we have the XKR version, we have these nice little cutouts in the hood for the supercharger. That means we go from 300 horsepower in the original XK to 420 horsepower. As we look at the car, again, it's sleek. This is what it's supposed to be. It's a Jaguar, it's cat-like. It wants to just move through the wind. Still going with the minimal chrome idea, and what that does is when we get to the wheels, it pops out a lot more. A chrome wheel is very nice on this car because even in a silver color, you recognize it instantly. You can see it when it's coming by. Now we're getting up close to this part of the car here because not only with the R package do we get the extra 120 horsepower under the hood, but something a lot better here too is that Jaguar uses their racing history and technology to make sure that the car, that the R car is gonna handle that much better. Now, right here we have an actually upgraded brakes and caliper system. They put in a nice little British racing green in R, which makes it look nice, but I'll tell you right now, it makes it stop a lot better. But there's also the upgraded suspension, which gives it that race bread technology. It's not going to be a hard, harsh ride. You're not driving a race car. It's going to have a great everyday feel to it, but when you have it in the twisties, it's going to feel that much better. Well, that's all good for the driving, but we also wrapped it around a 20-inch center wheel just because this is a flashy car and we want to use a flashy wheel. The side scoop here, again, is what Jaguar's going with their new design look. As we move more, again, this is a convertible. Ours is a soft top, though. Jaguar isn't offering a hard top. Now, this is something you might get in the $100,000 range, but the soft top that Jaguar uses is good. It has nice insulation, 
and eventually you might hear a little bit more noise than you may with a hard top, but the difference is it's a convertible. You're going to be having the top down. If you're in a place where you're not going to be using the top down that much, you want to buy the coupe anyway. The design goes all the way back, flattens out nicely, and again, the car is just as sleek as a cat and it's perfect. The interior of this Jaguar is really a nice place to be. And well, since we have the convertible, this is exactly what you want out of a car. It's a one button system, there are no locks. It's a pretty simple idea and right to open top fun. Now the, the top itself is very functional. It can work at least up to 20 miles an hour. And so you don't have to stop and do all this. You can still do it at idle and you can have your everyday life when you take the top down. Now the interior of this car is where Jaguars had problems in the past. Jaguar used to spend all their time making their cars so beautiful that by the time it came to actually get the electrics in the interior right, they were so tired they packed up and went home for the day. This is where the marriage with Ford really came into play and was really good. Because when Ford bought Jaguar, Jaguar took them aside and they said, look, we're going to do our best and we're going to make a really nice looking car. You just need to make sure that it works right. And this is the product of that. We have a very simple, very elegant design that's a nice place to be. This is what $100,000 buys you, and it's a nice car to have. Everything here is a premium piece. It doesn't look like it comes from a Ford, and it doesn't come from a Ford. It's strictly Jaguar pieces. It's just Uncle Henry's in behind the scenes doing all the work. Now, with the rest of the interior, as I said before, it's a clean, clean design. In fact, in the last XK, XK series, there was a lot of buttons, and it was, got confusing, and it was hard to always manage the car, and it wasn't a fun driving as you're fiddling with buttons. What they've done here is they've put in now basically a central command with their SAT navigation system. And what this is, is a touchscreen system. It works very well. Everything from the car now goes out of this controlled system. And since it's a touchscreen, everything's relatively intuitive. Now, Jaguar being a style company, they like to put a little animation into their touchscreen. So that means there's a little bit of delay in everything you do. It looks nice. Your friends are going to be impressed. It's just going to take a little while for you to get used to. Everything on here is elegant. You've got nice suede everywhere you look. It's suede, it's leather. Or in fact, as a nice option on our XKR, we have an aluminum finish. It's a billet aluminum that looks good and is, I gotta say, is worth the money. Our car is an automatic transmission. Six-speed automatic, but we also have the paddle shifters here just in case you want to have your own fun. The transmission, the automatic transmission shifts very smoothly when it wants to. If you want to get that jerky feeling, grab the paddles and do it yourself. The wheel, very grippy. It's what you want out of a performance car. Everything feels nice, everything feels clean, and everything feels good. Also, you have all the stuff that you want just sitting on the wheel. There's, there are buttons here for both your radio controls, also your controls for your laser-guided cruise control, as well as your electronic speed limiter, which is always good. It's stuff you find on other premium cars, such as Mercedes-Benz, where you can set the distance of how far you want the car to be in front of you and that way you never really have to go stop and start in your cruise control. You just simply set it and let the car do all the work. It's good to have it on the wheel because that helps make sure that you're not caught by all the cops. But this is a Jaguar. It's supposed to be a little quirky. They're supposed to think of the things you haven't thought of before. And they have these little interesting features on the car and that is if you look at the door, it's a complete, just a nice one sheet design and Jaguar didn't even want to put a nice little lock button here to make everything, well, just to break up the design. So rather than that, Jaguar put their little quirky touch on it. And if you come to the door handle, I'll show you on this side, to lock the door, what you actually do is you push it in and the car is locked. It's quirky, it's something you don't think of, but you know what, when it comes time to get out of the car, all you have to do is pull the handle and the car unlocks itself. It means a Jaguar is thinking about you. It has a pulse, it's its kind of thing. It's a car that's alive and thinking with you. Thank you, Miles. So that's all we have for today on the 2009 Jaguar XKR Convertible. Tune in next time for our next test drive.